Hey guys, uh, Tivo here again, uh, bringing another commentary on uh, Gears of 3 again. Uh, I got a gameplay, I got this gameplay a couple of days ago. Um, uh, I was playing quite well actually, I think I did really well, I think I got something like 20, 20 kills to like 4 deaths, something like that, I don't know. But that's really good to say it's on Gears of War. Um, so yeah, I use the sniper quite a lot in this gameplay, uh, which, you will, which, we will, which you will see. I pull off some nice shots as well in some parts of the commentary too. Um, I'm going to be talking about my episode 10 again uh, in this commentary also, and about who's editing it and etc. Uh, so yeah, um, the other week, sorry to tell you guys, um, the other week I was out with my mates, right, and there was this lad called Keaton, and we was out. Uh, I was out with a bunch of mates and a load of girls, and these kids from the year below came came over to us and we were sat in the middle of the field, just like just messing about, really kicking around the ball and just talking about stuff. And they brought they brought this bag right, and they stole from this shop, and there must have been twelve different bottles of well, that was a nice shot there. Um, There's different bottles of alcohol. Every single one of them was different, and uh, they brought these these two these two two liter bottles of cider. It was blue. I think it was Jack. Jack Frost or something like that and this I called Keaton one of my mates from in my year he he drank the whole of the two litre bottle in like I don't know less than ten minutes it was ridiculous and after about an hour we went back we went back over to um went back over to the shops again when we when we went past the field and he walked he walked over and he walked into a lamppost and banged his head like a retard is and and yeah, he just he bangs Zed and he he, he looks round like just say like oh what the hell just hit me. It was at his face. He was drunk and he walking around like a I don't know like an absolute idiot. And me and my mate were trying to help him down the road because everybody had left us and went back to the field again after we were at the shops. And I'd picked I picked up some chips because I was quite hungry. And we walked back with him. I had chips in my hand with curry sauce on. And and he was walking back. My mate, my mate was like he was holding him by his arms. Just walking around, you could take him anywhere, and he wouldn't even care where you're going. He's like he was asleep. It was ridiculous. And then he took, he took, we took him back to the wall. Halfway, we took him back, and we pulled outside the surgery. And in this surgery, right, he goes, "Oh, I need a wee. I need a wee, lads. Just give me a minute." And he walked over to the surgery door. And when he walked over to the surgery door, he weed on the front door. And when he weed all over the front door. I just, oh, it was just ridiculous. I mean, like those people walking the dogs, and this was something like I don't know, it was like half nine at night, so it was pitch black, and there was some, there was some guys walking past with the dog, and they just saw him weeing outside the building. Me and my mate were just, we were just looking at him, just like gone out, like to say we're not with him, and it was just so embarrassing how we just had one of our friends taking away right outside the surgery, <laughs> all over the front door. It was just stupid, and then and after he had a wee, he pulled his pants down by accident. Oh, that was my phone. Uh, he put his he put his pants like down on near his knees. It was, and he didn't even know. We were like we walk around with pretty pretty much his dick out, <laughs> and my mate like tried to help it help him up, like tried to get his pants up to make him look less less stupid, <laughs> um, and pretty much like so. Anyways, yeah, and he he like. I don't know. My mate tried to like pull his pants up and everything, and help him out to make it look pretty much like less stupid than that. And then he s he said he said to him, "Oh, don't do that. Don't pull my pants down." And he thought he was pulling them down when they were already down. He was out of his face. He could do anything, and he would just think something different, right? And anyways, he goes. We walk down. We get halfway, and we see this lad and this girl that we know, and they like basically like each other, and they try and like get on each other and everything, and. He he just comes in and interrupts them. He just we like <laughs> my mate just goes to more. You c we will leave Keaton with you, and you can just take care of him while we go over to other uh, lads and girls up at field. So we left him with them two, and he pretty much just wrecked their whole night. Them two together. Oh my god, he's wrecked it. He was laid he laid there by a lamppost. His face was in mud, and he was wrecked. 
and them two couldn't even talk. It was dead awkward for them two because he was just like sat there. But even if they did talk, he probably won't even know what they were saying. And basically, we, me and my mate went back up, and then we came, and then we went back up for about half an hour, and then we all walked down again. And they were all sat there by this lamppost, in, like next to this main road. It was pretty stupid, really. And he like he <laughs> he was just laughing, and just, and just he, then he just all of a sudden started crying. He was crying, and he was like. It's like, oh, what have I done? Like, just like sopping and everything it was ridiculous. <laughs> it was so funny at the time. And his face was covered in soil because he had his face in the mud and didn't even know. His pants are down, like, to his butt cheeks, near his knees. It's ridiculous. And then, like, he's just crying there in the middle of the, li near the middle of the road. And he's just, <laughs> like, he's just so stupid. Um, and anyways, we walked back down with all the girls and lads, and we met up with those two who were taking care of Keaton. And them, them two were like, oh, you could take her now, we're going to go. And then basically the lad, he'd basically wrecked the night with her, and she just walked off. She had enough of him. I was like, so good for him, because he proper likes her and everything. It was, just, it was just sad how that guy, just Keaton, just like ruined the night from both. And yeah, so then he rang his dad, the Keaton's dad, <laughs> he rang his dad and he picked up for He sounded proper rank. He was out in clubbing. I don't know why he was clubbing because he's like 40 or 50 years old. He was out in this club. It's just ridiculous. And we ring him to come back. And he comes back after about 10 minutes. And he comes up in this like little Corsa. This proper nice Corsa. It's like, it's very nice. It's pitch black and everything. It's proper nice. And then he pulls up, full speed, he pulls up. And there's this guy behind him, like waiting to pass him. And he just parks up in the middle of nowhere. And he just like he opens the boot and tells him to get in the boot. And yeah, he tells him to get in the boot, and we're all like just laughing because we're all sat there just watching him. And he's and he's Keaton just crying. He's just crying at that moment in time because he's just even knows doing. He's saying, "Oh, Dad, no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry." Like just keep saying sorry and crying and everything. And his dad had, like taking none of it. He walked over to him and said, "Oh, get up, get up now." He's proper angry with him. And he just, he just went to him, he just like say, oh, just get in the boot, get in the boot of the car right now. He was like proper trying to go at him, and he was out of his face. And then he, he tried getting up, he stumbled and cracked his head on the floor, in, on the concrete, it was ridiculous. And his dad didn't even care. And this is where we all felt like sorry for him, because he cracked his head, he had it, it like pro proper like hurt his head, it was bleeding. And then his dad didn't even give a, didn't even give a crap about it. And basically like, he just, I don't know, he just, he just like, and yeah, so he's, he's just sat there, and he, he goes, and he goes, no, I'll get up, and he's like, he gets up, and he bangs his head, and then after that, he just like, his dad grabs him by the collar, he's proper angry at this moment in time, he's proper embarrassed and everything, and he grabs him by the collar, picks him up, he's like hanging him in midair, and this kid, he's not the, I would admit, he's not the lightest of the bunch, he's quite chubby, I guess, he's quite fat, and... He just grabs him, he's like, he's got his feet off the floor and everything. And then, and then he, he throws him in the back of his boot, of his car. And, like, and he says, oh, I phoned me. And then he says, oh, thanks and that. And he said, but and he said like, he just drove off. And he was in the back <laughs> of the car. It was just horrible, poor lad. But anyway, that was up last Friday. That's why I haven't had Xbox much. And I've been out with my friends and stuff. Just <laughs> peeing about, hanging around and stuff. Anyway, back to the episode ten, and yeah, uh, episode ten. It's get, it's get, it's getting edited by the same guy, by uh, by Blaze. He'll be uh, editing it, and uh, it's going to be really sick. It's going to be out this Friday, I hope. Uh, it's going to be proper good, and I've got some proper good gameplay stacked up for it. And that has been my gameplay, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. I got twenty to oh, I don't know, I got twenty kills and something deaths. 20 and one, tw 20 to one deaths. Wow, it's ridiculous. Um, so yeah, I did really well in that match. Uh, I'll bring it out more in the future. Uh, see you guys later. Have a nice day. Peace. Well, that's hard. Good. Don't go for honor. Tactical deployment and execution with an emphasis on execution. Well done.